Hi, I would like to do a makeup tutorial, something that a lot of people have been asking me for. I don't know why, since I don't have a face technically. I'm assuming people mean like an eye makeup tutorial, because I'm sometimes seen wearing eyeliner and eyeshadow in my photos and videos. So I thought that since plans aren't going as planned today, we'll do a quick makeup tutorial for everyone. And since I am better than everyone else, I will also be doing a full face one despite wearing the mask. Would the usual beauty gurus you see on YouTube go to these lengths? I think not. Oh my god, look, it, look, it's a cup. Magic. Before that though, let's do a quick little outfit makeover. You might think it's a silly idea to wear white, and I'm realizing you would have a point. Why did I decide to wear a white shirt for this? But we've already changed and there's no going back now. So let's start with the basics, the eyeliner. Now eyeliner I know is a challenge for a lot of people. It is seen as one of the riskiest moves of the makeup. You do your little foundation and then you do the eyeshadow on top and then you do the eyeliner, right? That's usually the process. But I refuse to follow society's rules, so we're doing the eyeliner first. That way, even if my eyeshadow covers it up a bit when I do it afterwards, I can still just go and follow along the lines to bring the eyeliner back out. Do you see where I'm going with this? This is why I can't be a teacher. You hear me? Why is my mom chopping leather so loud? This is how I like to do my eyeliner. I extend the corners out like this. Do you see this? Do you see me extending my corner? And then you go up. Oh, fuck. It's okay, that was a minor mistake. And then you go up, ignore how I am staring at you like you just killed my dog. Okay, this isn't working. And then you go up. The, I like to bring my eyeliner up here. Jesus, I look dead. Why? I didn't realize my eye bags were this bad. Oh god, no, if only I was a cute TikTok boy that people simp over. Then my eye bags would actually be an attractive trait. Up and then whoop, like whoop. You get it? Just like whoop. Now one thing I am thankful for is the fact that my eyes aren't hooded because I know that it is harder for people with hooded eyes to do eyeliner. And considering this is how my first eyeliner attempt went, I'd say that yeah, perhaps Genetics was doing me a favor by not giving me hooded eye. It would have been 10 times harder for me to learn eyeliner. We have the first eye done, as you can see. So we just have to do the second eye. Eyeliners are sisters, not twins. Unfortunately, most of the time I do it, they end up not even being neighbors. Okay, I think my eyeliner is kind of even. Is this good? I can't tell. Right. Yeah? Yeah? Even? Even? Eyeliner is not even and neither are boobs, but they're both lovely anyways. So next up, let's do foundation. The one I usually use over here, it is from Fit Me. The shade is 118 foundation with clay. Clay? I'm just gonna dab this. Hot take, makeup is expensive. Yay, this feels safe to use. It used to be a lot, but when I moved back to Malaysia and I was cleaning up my room, um, I accidentally sat on it and it got all over my ass. Like 80% of it went up, went into, went onto my ass. So we don't have a lot to work with right now. This is not my sh- oh, this is not- <laughs> It's okay, I have a brush. I have a makeup brush. We can fix this, I can fix him. Wait, I'm gonna do some mild alterations to my skin. Be not afraid, children. Be not afraid. Okay, now it's smoother. Now we have a good base. Wow, well, this foundation is very pigment. <laughs> now, you might think that the foundation looks a bit patchy, 
but that's okay. That's when the powder comes in. A fit me powder. See, my skin tone is a bit darker than this, uh, but they didn't have that exactly, so we just got a powder that was a bit darker and it worked. Dab just a slight amount onto your brush. <coughs> How did they get through my mask? Dab just a slight amount and then... I'm giving myself multiple diseases right now. Perfect. After that is the contouring. <laughs> Oh, this is not good for my arms. Here I have it in a cream. Here I have it in a cream form. And I also have it in a powder form over here. <coughs> oh, the smell. Go from your inner eyebrow down, down. And you're going to finally be able to see the outskirts of my nose, okay? We can make this work. All right, so now you <laughs> now, now you have the outline of the nose. Uh, if you are an architect, think of this as the blueprint for the building. I don't know what architects do. After that, take a dainty little brush, then blend it out. Just blend it out into your skin. Don't worry, it is all coming into fruition. So blend it down. <laughs> blend it down. Usually, I like putting it in the bottom of the nose where the two nostrils are. The nostrils are here, so you just... Nyeh, and then you go over it to make it like a cute little button nose. Now is the fun part. Is <sighs> Oh, the smell. Oh my god, I'm losing it. Look how shiny this is. I'm having, a, I'm having 10 different migraines right now. You see how pretty that is? Like that? <laughs> Maybe this would be easier if you guys could see my nostrils, you know, more defined the light. Worry not, I hear your concerns. I am here to, to, to help you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an estimation of where my nose holes are. Mmm, Voldemort, mm, Harry Potter. Now that we have the nose down, Let's do the lips. Let's do this shade, which is... Well, it doesn't say the shade. It doesn't say the shade. This shade is 934 by Perfect Diary, which is fitting because I am also perfect. And then you outline your lips. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I chose this one. See, it's pretty. I, sw I swear it's a pretty color. It just smells really bad. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. So, I hope that one middle-aged guy that keeps harassing me in my DMs about my face sees this video and finally leaves me alone after having seen the beauty I encompass. The beauty that must remain hidden at all times. Ah, the smell! The smell! Ah, the fact that the lipstick is right below my nose, or nose holes as you can see from this diagram. It makes it even worse. Blush is the next process. This is also expired. I refuse to use my normal blush for this. I'll show you the normal blush I use though, because it's very pretty. This is the blush I usually use. Uh, this is the Brandon stuff. If you open it up, it's a heart. Here's an easy way to get me to buy your stuff. Just make it pretty and pink. So the way I apply blush is smile, like smile, an aggressive amount. And go here, here. Oh shit, that was probably too pigmented. <laughs> I think I can pull it off. Like, if you look at me from afar, you wouldn't realize I was actually wearing a mask, would you? All right, lastly, let's do the eyeshadow, which is the fun part. My favorite part of makeup has always been eyeshadow and eyeliner. I don't do my brows because they are already like pretty thick. I usually just pluck them. You honestly just have to feel yourself with it. <laughs> Let's do a pinkish look, shall we? I have this. Yeah, it's pink and shiny, which is why I got it. Here are all the available colors. Here's the gradient I usually use. Light in the inner corner, middle color in the middle, and then a dark brown here. 
that extends the eye slightly. Oh, here you go. There's actually there's actually normal advice in this video. I think here. You can hope you can see that. Go away. Don't make me cut you. The good thing about this is even if my mask fell off right now, you wouldn't be able to tell. I like to put a little bit of color down here at my smiling lines. In Chinese, we call these like silk ones. Brushes are overrated, so I'm now using my fingers. Before we move on, this video was sponsored by Fancy Beauty. I'm just kidding, it's not. In fact, they'll probably pay me money to say it's not sponsored by them. Finally, after this is all done and over, I like putting a little bit of highlighter into my inner corners. Then, let's do the fun part. This part always gets on people's groovies. It always makes them feel like the icky yucky. Eyelash grabbing. So a lot of people get intimidated by this part and so was I. Before I realized that I do not care about my own personal safety. Let me just bring you close to me so you can see what I'm doing. So here are my eyelashes. The thing about a lot of um, East or Southeast Asian eyes is that our eyelashes are very hard and they droop down. So you don't really see them, which is why they need to be curled. Are they, are they curled? Wait, I can't see. Wait, do you see this? Do you see them being curled? Focus, camera! You're an iPhone 13, act like it. They are being curled. Ouch. Squeeze them down and then count. One, two, three, four, five. This is a good time to put a disclaimer. I have no idea what I'm doing, so maybe not take any of my advice. And then muskawa. Where is my muskawa? Muskawa. Boom. Mascara. This says big shot, and I am feeling like a big shot myself, which is why I got it. Am I sweating? Can you see my pit stains? I never knew that makeup was such an intense process. The way I apply mascara is by swoosh, 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 like that. I can't tell if my mask is falling off. <laughs> you swoosh, 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 and you go up. Swoosh, 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 up. My hair. Why am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? Am I... So here we are. Um, I think it's pretty good, you know? My hair is also in a good mood today. It's uh, feeling very buoyant. This might look bad, but once we have the B-roll, your mind will be completely changed. I got this cardigan online on Shopee. I think this will tie in the look very well. See? See? Pretty good, you know? Okay, let me just do some final details and I'll be right back for the B-rolls. See how my parents think about this. Amia, you can. Ah, Abby, can you see me wearing this mask? Oh, Abby, Abby, no.